instances of RPC-199. Registered Phenomena Code, RPC-199. Designation, Perfect Camouflage. Object Class, Omega Orange. Hazard Types, Aggression Hazard, Grouped Hazard, Organic Hazard, Extradimensional Hazard. Containment Protocols. Due to the anomalous properties of RPC-199, current containment is impossible. As such, Site-065 is to monitor any and all RPC-199 activities in the region. Approximately 300 kilograms of meat must be dispensed at the designated area near Site-065 every week in order to monitor all RPC-199 instances. All known instances of RPC-199 must be tagged with GPS tracking devices as they are able to function when RPC-199 manifests. The northernmost towns of Canada, Greenland, and Russia are to undergo heavy monitoring for any instance of RPC-199. Should an instance or instances of RPC-199 attack one of these towns, MST November 12, Arctic Fox, is to be deployed and sedate the instance. Any media coverage or witnesses are to be amnesticized and suppressed to avoid any information breach of RPC-199 existence. Description RPC-199 is an anomalous subspecies of polar bears, Ursus martimus. At the time of writing, there are 27 members of the RPC-199 species, each designated RPC-199-1 through 27. Although RPC-199 instances behave like their non-anomalous counterparts, they are biologically different. The bears are comprised of an unknown biological material which possibly grants them their anomalous abilities. RPC-199 instances demonstrate a heightened sense of smell and sight. The bears are normally found within the Arctic Circle and around northern Canada, Greenland, and Russia. All RPC-199 instances demonstrate the ability to seemingly fade out of existence and reappear at will. Once a bear begins dematerialization, they are effectively intangible. It is currently unknown where RPC-199 instances manifest to when they dematerialize out of existence, as GPS tracking devices and video cameras usually fall off the bear once they dematerialize. However, anything inside RPC-199, such as food or air, travels with the bear. Unfortunately, GPS tracking devices swallowed by a bear are unable to locate where the bears manifest to. RPC-199 instances typically manifest in a different location from where they initially dematerialized, only manifesting when a food source or prey item is nearby. The existence of RPC-199 was discovered on 19... when Site-065 detected two instances of RPC-199, at the time thought to be normal polar bears, and recorded the bears dematerializing after detection. Agents were dispatched to locate these bears and nine more instances of RPC-199 in the region. It is theorized that RPC-199 is responsible for a variety of disappearances in Canada, Greenland, and Russia. Addendum 199-A On 20... Three instances of RPC-199 manifested inside the house of the... ...family in Kujuarapik, Quebec. All four members of the household were killed and consumed by the RPC-199 instances. Roughly two weeks later, the three bears manifested in the house of Felix, who was killed and consumed by the RPC-199 instances. November 12, Arctic Fox was stationed in Kojuarapik at the time to monitor the town after Incident 199-C and managed to neutralize two instances of RPC-199. The third bear has yet to attack a household since the incident. Addendum 199-B On 20, an instance of RPC-199 manifested inside the Echo St. Joseph School in Yellowknife, Northern Territories, killing roughly members of student and staff before dematerializing. The bear has not attacked Yellowknife since then. Echo 7, the blind eye, was deployed to administer amnestics and suppress any news coverage of the incident. Updated containment protocols have been approved following this incident.